everyone, my name is Lindsay. I am an artist here with the Art League of Jacksonville. Today I'll be demonstrating a, a realistic eyebrow done in color pencil. The color pencils that I will be using are the Faber-Castell and the Cron Dosh Luminance pencils. I'm also using a kneaded eraser, an X-Acto knife, and um, an HB pencil to get the image down onto the paper. The colors that I have chosen to use today are the brown ochre, the brown ochre 10%, buff titanium, walnut brown, black, and sepia. I hope that you find this tutorial very helpful and I hope you like it. Okay guys, after placing the image onto the paper, I take a kneaded eraser and pick up any of the extra graphite. This allows a lighter image. You wanna make sure that you lighten it just enough so the image is still showing through so that you have a good line for your color pencil drawing. After there's only a light image left, I take raw umber 10% and go over the entire image. I do this a couple of times, changing the direction of my pencil so that the color goes into the tooth of the surface. Remember, these are light layers. Uh, we are not burnishing yet. If you do press too hard, it will not allow extra colors to be added onto the image. After adding the two layers of the burnt ochre, 10%, you want to go ahead and start adding your shadows in. I used brown ochre along the underside of the eyebrow and also above the eyebrow and in the corner of the eye where the eye would be. I do a couple layers of this very lightly. Then I take sepia and go over those shaded areas as well, remembering to keep a light hand. The buff titanium will be blended and burnished in the highlighted areas. Once this is done, you want to take brown ochre, 10%, and blend all of the colors together. You want to burnish them, so you want to make a smooth surface for everything. Remember to follow through with the color into the actual eyebrow. This will allow for a more natural look. You don't want to have the white paper showing through once you put down the eyebrow hairs. Once all the skin tones are blended, take your walnut brown or any brown that you have and start adding the eyebrow hairs to the eyebrow. They need to be placed in an organic matter. The starting and stopping points of the hair should not be uniformed. Toward the beginning of the eyebrow, you wanna stay lighter. layer the hair a couple of times, making sure the middle parts are a bit darker. They get darker as they meet in the middle of the eyebrow.
To add depth to the already drawn hairs, take your sepia and place where you would like definition. And lastly, you will take black to add one last dimension and realism to your eyebrow. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did making it. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe and let us know what you would like to see next on our next coming videos. Thank you so much and have an art filled day.